morning folks welcome back to the channel you join us on our final day of a three-day trip up here in Scotland the plan for this morning is to head down to Invergarry along to Speenbridge down to Fort William and then along to Oban and then from there we're going to come up with a bit of a plan for getting home Now yesterday, when we stopped for lunch, another rider commented on my brother's jacket, saying he was impersonating a policeman, as his jacket says polite on the back. Now, I know some people are not a huge fan of these jackets. Personally, I don't mind them. I think anything which makes people slow down and ride or drive more sensibly can only be a good thing. However, please let me know down below, do you think they are completely okay or do you not like them? That is glassy calm today. Now we're currently on the road between Inverness and Fort William and all of the locks and rivers between the two are connected and they are pretty much in a straight line between the two. It's called the Caledonian Canal. It's a very popular route with canoeists who want to do a multi-day trip with some camps along the way. We are just coming into Fort William and there is the Scottish six day trial on at the moment. So we might see a few trials riders riding through. Now the Scottish six day trial is a trial bike event that takes place over six days. It's based here in Fort William and then it goes out to various different sections relatively locally there's some riders there now my dad has ridden this trial quite a few times so he does know roughly where a lot of the sections are I'm told he was very good another one One of my wife's favourite Indian restaurants is here in Fort William. It's probably my favourite town to be honest. I do really like Fort William. There's the pits for the six day. camera is picking everything up. The views are very very nice, it's very clear as well. It's not very often it's sunny where you can see everything. It's often raining. Next stop, Oban. 
open. Now, as much as I would love this to be the case, please don't expect the weather in Scotland to be like this all the time. This is my first ever trip up here where we have had three days of warm, dry weather. Dad's just pointing at a sign for a calf. He must be thirsty. for many years, or for a few years, I haven't done a complete year, so when I came to insure it. Okay, slight change in plan. Instead of going all the way down to Oban, we're going to go down to Connell and then cut across to Inverary. How's your bike, Sam? Splendid, thank you. It's not as good as the white one, though. No, uh, the grey one's better. No, no, the white one's better. No, the white one's better. Definitely the white one. <laughs> now, one thing I do want to mention is how comfortable these bikes are. All three bikes are the same bike, apart from the colour, the Honda Transalp XL 750. And yesterday, we did just over 320 miles, and we all got off the bike at the end of the day, and we all felt okay. Yes, we were a little bit stiff, but that's because we were on the bike for so long. But the bike itself is very, very comfortable. The suspension's nice and soft, the seat's comfortable and the wind protection is absolutely fantastic. If you're after a bike for long distance touring, this is definitely worth a look. Quick stop for some fuel probably for the last time this trip. I do love roads like these where you can pick a gear and roll on and off the throttle coming out of corners and going into them instead of being constantly on the brakes and the throttle and going up and down the gearbox I much prefer roads where you can keep things nice and smooth like this one
Now the last time we came down this road, all three of us were running out of fuel. The plan was to wake up, have breakfast, get ready, and then head a couple of hundred meters down the road from the hotel to fill up. But the petrol station was closed and the nearest fuel station, I think from the hotel was about 25 miles away. So we did get there, we didn't run out of fuel, but at the time, we didn't quite know how fuel efficient these bikes were. Looking back, we definitely could have got another 10 miles or so out of the tank. But at the time, we didn't know. On that note, since we last filled up, we have averaged, or I have averaged, 80.4 miles per gallon, which is absolutely brilliant. I believe this is the last bit of single track or single width road of the trip. Thank you. Cheers, buddy. Just to give you a quick update on mileage. Since I left home on Thursday, I have done 696.8 miles. I still have 209 miles to go. So that will put me just over the 900 mile mark for the last three days. I have averaged 76.3 miles per gallon. I don't think that will change too much between now and getting home. This is Erskine Bridge. Now we decided over lunch that from here we were going to take the motorway all the way home just because it's half past three now and we still have over 190 miles to go so i will finish the video there thank you very much for watching please let me know down below what you think of our scottish trip please subscribe and i'll see you soon